The anime begins with a boy introducing the concept of rankings in a world obsessed with fame and status, where he himself lacks said status. After saying not everything shown to people is real, he boldly steps onto a stage before a huge audience of students. This boy introduces himself as Shinohara Hirota, the new Seven Star, arrogantly belittling his fellow students and challenging them to defeat him. However, unknown to his audience, this confident act is a blatant lie. Hiroto nervously collapses backstage as he's bombarded with notifications of ridicule. Guided by his device, Hiroto discovers Academy Island, an advanced academic center funded by Japan's Nanji Corporation. Here, students engage in games to earn stars, with the most powerful student acquiring seven stars and the title of seven star. Hiroto, overwhelmed by his responsibilities, weeps at becoming a seven star. In a flashback to earlier that day, Hiroto encounters a beautiful girl named Seanji Sarasa while walking down a street. Flustered, he seeks her help for directions, and she kindly assists him, assuming he's a transfer student. After assisting him with his device, she escorts him to his destination but accidentally triggers a sensor, resulting in a water hose soaking her. Feeling humiliated and thinking Hiroto deliberately set her up, she challenges him to a game to exact revenge. Hiroto quickly accepts, showcasing his confidence to a shocked Sarasa. However, he soon panics, realizing he randomly accepted the challenge. The game is announced, a staring contest, where the goal is to make the opponent change expressions. Sarasa is further enraged when Hiroto fails to choose an ability, appearing disrespectful. Hiroto regrets his hasty decisions, and Sarasa uses her ability to shorten his distraction time. She then summons a sword to attack him, but she accidentally triggers the water sensor again, dousing herself. Suddenly, Sarasa notices a growing crowd observing their game, causing her to lose composure and blush profusely, ultimately causing her defeat. Shocked spectators witness the Empress Sarasa's rare loss, and she quietly departs. An old man approaches Hiroto, leading him to the Aime campus headmistress's office. The headmistress Ikanos informs Hiroto that he broke a taboo by defeating someone who is no ordinary student. Sarasa, a student of the Alco campus is, in fact, a top scorer in the entrance exam with a flawless record as the former Seven Star and is also the granddaughter of Seanji Corporation's head, Seanji Masamune. This revelation shocks Hiroto, as it highlights his low grades and status. Ikino's presents a solution. Hiroto can avoid the wrath of Sarasa's grandfather by becoming a Seven Star himself, worried about facing strong opponents as an actual One Star. Hiroto learns that he possesses a special red star urn from defeating Sarasa, allowing him to tell one lie. Ikano suggests he uses the star's power to appear as a new genius. She offers him the option to leave the island if he refuses, but Hiroto recalls someone he's looking for, choosing to stay and accept the challenge. Ikano's has her own motivations for this arrangement. Following Hiroto's speech, Ikano's laughs at his performance before directing him to his dorm. Later on, Hiroto encounters Sarasa who questions why he hasn't exposed her secret to anyone and fears he intends to use it against her. Desperate, she pleads with Hiroto, offering anything to protect her identity as the real Sarasa's double, Akabane Rina. Hiroto is shocked by the revelation, but Rina informs him that the current Red Star holder gains access to the previous owner's secrets. He confesses that he had no prior knowledge of this, leaving Rina dumbfounded. Hiroto regrets becoming a Seven Star for someone who isn't even the real Empress. A silver-haired girl quietly follows Hiroto in a hallway. She comes out and asks for his name, saying she didn't know he was a male. She introduces herself as Haimji Shurayuki, Hiroto's live-in assistant, surprising him. Later at his dorm, Haimji tells Hiroto that the principal sent her as his assistant. She makes food for Hiroto who compliments her cooking. This makes Haimji point out that Hiroto is famous for being a confident deceiver, but he says that he easily lets his guard down and acts honestly, making her smile. After lunch, Haimji takes Hiroto to a secret room where she reveals that she is part of a company assigned to help Hiroto win all his games as 7 star. She tells him that she can only use weak 1 star abilities and that he'll need her help to cheat and win. Her company will keep his secret as 7 star and an electronics expert, Kageya, will hack enemy devices to help him win, surprising Hiroto. He is a bit worried about getting caught, but Haimji reassures him the company will cover it up, making him determined to complete his mission. The next day, Hiroto plays a game with a student and is delighted to easily win. He thanks Haimji through his earpiece, but she compliments his wits in return. Later, Hiroto is shown around the school by two students, Tatara Fuka, the class president, and Tsuji Iwuki. Talking to them, Hiroto receives a call from Haimji for an important game and leaves. He enters an arena where the announcer Kazami, belonging to the media organization Libra hypes the crowd up. Hiroto gets challenged by a three-star, Yurisaka Haruto to an anything-goes race, confident her advanced bike will help her win. In the announcer's podium, Sarasa is watching with Kazami, shocked that Hiroto is going barefoot. 
Urasaka zooms past, confident in her defensive abilities, but suddenly gets stopped and flung in the air, falling on safe rubber. Hiroto easily walks to the finish line, explaining that he used a level 7 force stop ability even the safety landing was hacked by Kagaya, and Hiroto leaves happily. Sarasa is relieved at his victory and goes to see him downstairs. She claims that she's happy to see him not lose against anyone else before giving him a note to meet her somewhere. Hiroto leaves, asking Haimji to temporarily stop tracking him. He meets Sarasa in a quiet place, who mocks him for being late. He complains about the meeting spot being hard to find, wondering if the cute and sweet empress from day one was an act. Sarasa gets flustered before revealing that the real Sarasa got kidnapped and she acted as her replacement. Hiroto realizes that she'll get in serious trouble if he loses his red star and exposes her lies. Sarasa responds that if her identity gets revealed, Ikenos won't have to protect Hiroto either, and Hiroto tells her he needs to stay on the island to find his childhood friend. The two make an alliance to help Hiroto win and exchange IDs. The next day, Sarasa bumps into Hiroto, secretly angry he didn't message her at night, but Hiroto had simply fallen asleep. As the two talk, they notice a grinning man watching them, a man named Kugasaki Saren. A devoted follower of the Empress introduces himself to Hiroto and accuses him of cheating to win against her. He challenges him to a game and Hiroto proposes that the loser can't challenge Sarasa anymore. Kigasaki agrees. Hiroto and Sarasa secretly meet to strategize. Sarasa questions if he set the condition for her benefit, but Hiroto admits it was just a cover for his lie. Later, they visit Hiroto's dorm, where Sarasa meets Haimji. Hiroto is surprised to learn that Haimji used to serve the Seanji family and knows Rina. They discuss the strategy for the card game, which consists of two rounds, collecting up to 20 numbered cards in the city and then revealing them. Haimji mentions possible abilities Kugasaki might use, such as explore to locate cards and numerical manipulation to increase card numbers. Sarasa reveals Hiroto's ability, Black Wings, is mostly for show. Hiroto decides to use numerical manipulation, luck, and display bug abilities. The game starts, and Kugasaki quickly collects cards, leaving Hiroto puzzled about how he's doing it without knowing the card values. Kugasaki calls Hiroto and reveals that his wings assist him. Hiroto realizes he must have chosen a different ability and rushes to collect cards himself. Urasaka arrives on her bike, courtesy of a business permit from the principal, and helps Hiroto collect a floating card. However, Hiroto falls and injures himself. Sarasa insists he goes to the emergency room, but he refuses, fearing it would expose her secret. Sarasa confesses that she's not the real Sarasa but a stand-in sent by Rina to fulfill her friend's dream. Haimji mentions a six-star ability called Rule Breaker that can change the game rules. The reveal round begins with Kugasaki confident of winning. Hiroto asks about the game's conditions, annoying Kugasaki. Haimji then tells Hiroto that Kageya is ready. He changes the rules to require only one side to run out of cards to end the game. Kugasaki is shocked that he used Rule Breaker. Since Hiroto ran out of cards, the game gets tied. It turns out, the game rules were the same, modified on Kugasaki's screen by display bug. Since he discarded all his cards, a shock Kugasaki loses. Later, Hiroto is on the hospital roof after treatment. Sarasa checks on him, complimenting his skills. She asks about him calling her his type, but he's on a call with Haimji, not noticing it. Sarasa is happy that he made it out of that difficult spot, and Hiroto boasts about being the strongest on the island, though Sarasa knows he's joking. Ikenos talks to Haimji, telling her that although Hiroto can't gain normal stars from a fake 7 star, he can gain unique stars. She tells Haimji that he is now a 2 star with the violet star, having the potential to become a colored 7 star if he gets the rest. She tells her that as Hiroto grows he'll face more danger, but Haimji is determined to stay by her master's side. Later at his dorm, Hiroto notices Haimji practicing an introduction speech for her school transfer from Alko and smiles. She joins his class the next day and their teacher announces that the all-campus elimination trial games are about to begin. The top five of this event will form a team for an upcoming Inter Academy tournament. Later, Hiroto is having lunch with Haimji as they get approached by a cute girl. Hiroto's is smitten by her beauty and she introduces herself as a Kazuki Noah, a third-year student. She asks if Hiroto is dating Haimji, and upon hearing no, immediately snuggles up to the flustered boy. Haimji gets annoyed and pinches Hiroto, making him ask Akazuki what she wants. She says that she wanted to check on the favorite to win the elimination event, surprising Hiroto that it's him. She gets up after noticing Hiroto isn't paying attention and leaves. Haimji feels weirded out and warns Hiroto to be careful of her, warning him that she's a sick star. She then pouts and asks if Haimji is his type. Later, Ikenos calls Hiroto and discusses some concerns with him. She tells him that outside forces are trying to intervene in the upcoming event for him. She also reveals that each campus on the island has its unique star and that the Aimei campus's green star got stolen. 
The star enhances perception, making it dangerous in malicious hands. Thus, Hiroto has three missions, to find out who's interfering, recover the stolen star, and win the event for himself. Afterward, Haimji makes a strategy to block students from challenging Hiroto with jammers. Suddenly, Hiroto gets a message from Akazuki telling him the jammers won't work as Tatara comes to challenge him. He later returns home, exhausted by the fight, and gets visited by Kage. She reveals a gadget that will swap his devices with Haimji's, making his challenge requests reach her instead. The next day, Hiroto is in trouble as Akazuki sends out his coordinates to all the students. He runs away and bumps into her, falling on top. She holds him and pins him, wanting him to get into a scandal when Haimji reaches the two and Hiroto gets up. He gets Haimji to challenge him and narrowly avoids all the rushing students. Akazuki leaves and he wonders what her motives are. Later at home, Haimji goes out to buy some ingredients when she gets caught by Akazuki. She calls Hiroto and tells him she can no longer lose their next game. Haimji apologies and requests Hiroto to try not to win the game and Akazuki cuts the call. Hiroto and Sarasa discuss how to deal with little devil Akazuki. Hiroto wonders if someone else is helping Akazuki out. Sarasa is lost not knowing how to cheat and deal using dirty means, when suddenly, a drunk Kageya comes to the rescue. She explains Hiroto's game with Haimji. It's a trading card game involving, where the first person who secures 11 cards wins. There are four card types, Royalty, Knight, Assassin, and Commoner, with Commoner being the weakest but with special abilities. While discussing the game, Hiroto receives a message from Haimji revealing all her abilities for the game. Hiroto is surprised to see Sarasa in his bedroom, who nervously explains that she can't return after curfew. The two of them are unable to sleep and talk to each other. Sarasa gives Hiroto a card called Pinch Hitter saying it's a rare ability he might need someday. The scene shifts to Akazuki's room who reads messages from someone unknown. She recalls how arrogantly Hiroto declared himself king and vows to bring him down, not accepting defeat at a cheater's hands. The next day, Hiroto sits down with Haimji for their trial game. The game begins, and it looks like Haimji is actually going easy on him. Akazuki seems calm watching this, and Hiroto suspects something fishy. He thinks that beating Haimji will probably have a bad effect, remembering how Haimji told him not to win. He smiles confidently, calling Kageya to cancel their strategy. Akazuki is surprised at how the game starts going and in the end, it is down to two cards. Haimji can play a card to defeat Hiroto, or the other card to draw. She plays the other card, and the game results in a draw. Akazuki gets upset and starts leaving but gets stopped by Hiroto. He demands she come clean, and Haimji reveals that she detected a spying ability on her device, an illegal ability that monitors and records everything. It also had a function to transfer to the winner's device if the owner lost the game, making Hiroto realize why she needed a draw. Akazuki gets upset at getting exposed, saying she got frustrated. She had worked hard to get stronger and become popular last year, but suddenly Hiroto had popped up and dominated the scene. Hiroto feels guilty about cheating her out of her hard work, when suddenly, Akazuki claims it's not over yet. She reveals that she installed a hidden ability that would destroy Haimji's device with a command. Haimji is shocked that she would go to such illegal means. But Akazuki says she's gone far enough to even make a deal with the devil. She takes Haimji hostage, challenging Hiroto to a game, vowing to bring the cheater down. Hiroto is surprised how she knows he's cheating, wondering if it's the green star's perception. Hiroto plays a turn-based tabletop treasure hunt with Akazuki. She asks him a question about where his partner is and then uses her double-action ability to make two consecutive moves. Hiroto learns from Sarasa that the game allows four commands, move, retreat, answer, or question. Using answer, question, or retreat spends an answer point, and each player has three. Sarasa guesses Akazuki's partner, who suspects Hiroto of cheating. After making Haimji retreat, she retaliates by guessing Sarasa's location, evening the score out. Hiroto encounters Haimji retreating and tells her to keep warm as it gets cold after 10 p.m. She thanks him and leaves. Afterward, Hiroto questions Akazuki if Haimji is in one of three rooms, once again guessed by Sarasa. She then decides to make Haimji retreat randomly. Sarasa wonders how Hiroto will win now, but he says that Akazuki's green star only seems to read his mind, saying he has already arranged other plans. Hiroto stalls, waiting for it to become 10 p.m., and suddenly reveals Haimji's location, having informed her to turn on the AC at that time. Akazuki gets stunned and attempts to negate Hiroto's answer with an illegal ability called Alter Fate. She uses her turn to find Sarasa and is shocked to find out her identity. Sarasa says she still couldn't defeat Hiroto, confusing her. Hiroto then walks in with Haimji, revealing his pinch hitter ability, which allows him to switch places with an outsider. Hiroto had switched with Haimji, and Akazuki had defeated her, ending up with the spy on her own device. Akazuki then confesses that she was tested to have great talent and aptitude, but in order to succeed on the island, she needed a strong background. 
Thus, she tried to grab attention by becoming a top student but was overshadowed by Hiroto. The principal of Seijo Academy, Kurahashi, had offered her illegal abilities to help her defeat Hiroto. She apologizes to him for hurting his maid, saying this is their last day meeting. Hiroto tells the tearful Akazuki that she is safe and he will defeat Kurahashi for her sake. The quiet Akazuki walks into Kurahashi's office. He yells at her for failing him and orders her to become his slave for punishment. Akazuki agrees, before suddenly grinning. Hiroto comes in with a drone, telling Kurahashi they've been broadcasting live to an audience of thousands. The next day, Ikanos announces Akazuki's incident before finalizing the details for the elimination game. Akazuki is on the school's team but feels like she doesn't deserve it after what she did. Hiroto comforts her, revealing a survey of students. Almost everyone accepts that she got manipulated by Kurahashi, relieving her. Hiroto makes her the ace of their team with him, student president Inamoto, Nanes, Akazuki, and Hanji forming it. Later, Sarasa takes Hiroto to an ability shop where only couples are allowed to enter. The owner is friendly but notices how distant they are, asking them to hold hands. Sarasa blushes furiously before setting for a handshake with Hiroto. The owner laughs and lets them purchase abilities. The two return home and are welcomed by Hanji after their date. She gets a bath ready for them and Hiroto is overwhelmed by two beauties in swimsuits in his tub. The next day, Hiroto and Hanji meet up with Akazuki. She is clingy with Hiroto, making Hanji jealous. As they walk towards a meeting room, Hiroto learns that Inamoto and Nanis are childhood friends who fight a lot. He hopes that their fights won't ruin the team's chemistry. In the room, the team meets and they discuss the competition game, called Astral Short for Area Steel to Reconquer All Lost. The objective of the team game is to capture bases in an area. Another tournament, MTCG will be held which will decide a wild card player for Astral. Teams can use various spells unlocked by conquering land to defeat enemies and expand their territories. The winner is either the team with the most land, or the last team standing. The game uses a timer system, with each move requiring some time. In the second round, audience voted support points will grant extra movement to selected teams. Each member gets a movement rating based on their stars. Even though Hiroto should get the best score as 7 star, he gets a low score based on his 3 star ranking. Out of the 5 roles available, he decides to become the commander, who has the lowest movement and the ability to switch places with a teammate. Nanans picks Soldier, a Kazuki spy, and Hanji Guardian. Inamoto wants the commander position, however, saying he'll be a wise leader. Hiroto manages to convince him to become a mage on the condition that by the third day of the tournament, he'll have defeated three other commanders. Later at night, Hiroto gets a call from Sarasa saying there's a third Sarasa doppelganger now. They get a call from the doppelganger, who challenges Sarasa to defeat Hiroto. Whoever does it becomes the real empress. The doppelganger threatens her to expose herself doing scandalous acts if Sarasa refuses to play, angering her. Later, Hiroto discusses strategy with Kage and Haimji, knowing if a team places below fifth, they all lose a star. He reveals he'll be using the green and indigo stars abilities, not having decided on the third one yet. Haimji is using a replacement ability, preparing it for a special situation. After strategizing, Hiroto gets a call from Sarasa, sad that she can't see him because of the tournament. Hiroto cheers her up and goes out of his room before calling someone else, asking for their help. The next day, the team assembles at District Zero the tournament location. They play around. Finding out the freeze time equals their movement unit multiplied by 10. In order to expand their base and move more freely, the group decides to grab more land. Discussing this, Hiroto notices Nanes and Inamoto argue when he realizes Haimji is gone. She cutely covers his eyes from behind, revealing a concealed spell. After the first day, the group has dinner at a hotel where they meet some formidable enemies. Kigasaki from Ottawa Academy, Taoya from Shinra Academy, and Senri, the demon maiden, from Tsuyuri Academy with a one-hit kill ability. Senri comes up to them and mocks them for talking behind her back before leaving. The group then discusses sleeping rooms and goes to bed. Waking up at night, Hiroto goes to the men's bath where he notices a little girl trying to reach for something high. He gives her the item, finding out that Liber brought her for the MTCG. The girl Sheena takes him out to play. She makes Hiroto get a toy for her at the arcade before getting tired. Hiroto takes the girl to her room and leaves, smiling. On the second day of Astral, a rival school asks to form an alliance with Aimei Academy, but Nanase notices something weird and attacks them. Later, Inamoto grills her for rushing into a battle and making them defeat the Academy. She gets upset and runs away. A team discusses their plans in Astral. They try collecting a spell but are unable to perform the action. Suddenly one of their own teammates draws a sword and defeats them, revealing himself to be Sarasa's doppelganger. Women's team watches a video of it, noticing she can change into anyone and trick teams. Later, Hiroto plays games with Shina, asking her what she does in her free time. 
She says that she enjoys staying indoors and playing before falling asleep exhausted. Afterward, Hiroto goes to Sarasa's room to discuss the doppelganger with her. She has already been given a name Miss Hundred Faces. Hiroto is still confident that he can defeat her, reassuring Sarasa. The next day in Astral, Nanase patrols a bit ahead of the team. Kinemoto is a bit angry at her carelessness but she carries along. Suddenly a smoke spell envelops them, clouding everyone's vision. Inamoto starts questioning Nanats, who gets offended that he suspects her of being Miss Hundred Faces. The timer rings and they return from the game. Later, Inamoto and Nanis take the next day off from the game. As Hiroto walks with Akazuki and Haimji, he gets warned by Kageya that several teams are approaching them. They encounter Senri's team as Hiroto tells Haimji to take Akazuki away. Senri mocks him for fighting alone, but suddenly, Hiroto attacks her teammate, who gets damaged by another attack, getting knocked out. Senri is shocked to see Haimji return. Hiroto wonders if she still meets the conditions for a one-hit kill attack, which Senri immediately releases. Haimji guards the attack but gets extremely weakened. Hiroto retreats with her, turning parts of the battlefield into their base using counteract spells for movement advantage. Senri chases them. As Haimji uses numerical adjust to reflect another attack and knock another enemy out, another girl triggers a Kazuki's trap getting knocked out as well. Senri finally corners Hiroto, knowing they're out of spells with all those counteracts. Her remaining teammate binds Haimji with a spell before Senri takes her out. Senri gets shocked upon finding out the green squares were actually the display bug ability and not counteract. Hiroto is still full of energy, so Senri freezes him with a spell and retreats. The group finds her behavior strange, remembering two other enemies saying they're working or someone. Hiroto asks him if he really suspected Nanis. Inamoto reveals that she was worried and on her nerves, so he deliberately upset her to make her quit and rest. Behind a pillar, Nanis peeks her head out, blushing. Inamoto starts arguing with her about eavesdropping. He learns from Hiroto that Nanis had detected the allying team preparing magic to attack and rushed in to protect them, finally making Inamoto understand. He is shocked again to learn that Hiroto killed himself in the game with a plan in mind. Kurahashi watches Miss Hundred Faces in his office, confident in his ace. In a small room, Hiroto and Sarasa visit Kazane. They ask her about the news coverage of Miss Hundred Faces which seems suspiciously positive. She reveals that Hundred Faces has connections with the Astral team and entered with a fake student ID. The two sit down and ask Kazane for Liber's assistance. She sheds tears, saying she wanted Astral to be a fun event, upset it's being ruined by a cheater. Hiroto reassures her that he will help her as the strongest on the island. Later, Kazane sneaks him into Libra's office with Haimji and Sasari, awkwardly packed into a suitcase. The group decides to ban all the remaining academies against Hundred Faces Alliance. Hiroto asks if he has time to get the wild card from MTCG. Kazane tells him that he'll have to defeat a middle schooler guest for it and Hiroto realizes it's Shayna. The girls tease him about his relationship with her before Hiroto decides to leave. He enters MTCG a trading card tournament with Kazane as his virtual pet. Cards can be exchanged for coins and used for leveling up or battling. Hiroto then encounters Yukawa, the leader of the first academy they defeated. He also finds Senri's teammate, who gives him numbered cards, wanting him to defeat Hundred Faces for forcing Senri into such weakness. Hiroto agrees and starts grinding for coins and level ups. He later encounters Tatara and Yuuki, who give him more cards to help Aimei Academy. On top of a building, Yukawa has reached the final boss and challenges Shina. He reveals an impressive level 34 pet but instantly gets crushed by Sheena's pet, Lloyd, whom she got at the arcade with Hiroto. Sheena calls Hiroto over and he begins a fight with her. He knows that Sheena's pet is actually at negative level 99, impossible to defeat. Unknown to Sheena, Kageya has hacked her pet's level to Hiroto's level, allowing him to defeat her. After the game, Hiroto decides to make a guess and asks Sheena if she's hundred faces. She nods, telling Hiroto to prepare for the real fun in Astral. Hiroto goes back to Astral after getting the wild card. The team discusses that they've formed an alliance with the remaining teams against Seijo Academy's Miss Hundred, but worry about how to deal with her cheated abilities and infinite life points. Hiroto has a plan, saying Senri's one-hit kill might be able to defeat her. Kazane is covering the match, hyping up Hiroto's team to increase audience support for them, wishing them luck. In Astral, the Aime team has paired up with Aomi Academy to fight an ally team of Hundred Faces. The opponent is strong and Aomi loses their members. Senri fights alone, powered up, but Nanes and Inamoto team up to defeat her. Hiroto tells her that her teammates were angry at being too weak and dragging her down. She smiles and asks to get finished off, but Hiroto has a request. In another corner of the astral board, Sarasa is hiding from hundred faces, becoming the Alko player alive. 
He uses his Black Star to upgrade a compound upgrade spell, allowing him to combine two attack spells of any strength. He uses it to combine Magic Blast and Sword Flash to obtain a powerful magic sword. He charges at Hiroto and immediately destroys a guarding Haimji's shield. Inamoto steps up to buy time for the group and begins fighting Taoya with his own sword. Taoya is about to finish it when suddenly Haimji uses her replacement, giving Hiroto the magic sword. He begins knocking Taoya back. Nearby, Shizuku is fighting Nanes, being able to predict all her moves. Hiroto realizes that she can predict any move she has seen once but smiles. Suddenly, Shizuku gets struck by a huge attack and dies. Hiroto reveals that he combined the magic blade with conceal. Taoya then gets angry and uses his secret weapon, Dual Wheel. He kills both Inamoto and Nanes and the Kazuki steps up to fight. She also gets easily defeated, and Taoya mocks the class ace. He reveals an inability barrier that guards against undetectable attacks. Taoya feels betrayed but he reveals that as an ardent Sarasa fan, he could never work for a fake empress, recalling how Hiroto called him for help. Taoya is about to die from another attack but suddenly shoots a gun at Hiroto. He kills himself to mask his betrayal and protect his ranking after telling Hiroto to guard the Empress. In another part of Astral, Sarasa is fighting a difficult battle with Hundred Faces and Senri. Suddenly, Senri uses her one-hit kill attack at Hundred Faces, betraying her. Sarasa is hopeful, but when the smoke clears, Hundred Faces shoots Senri, coming out unharmed. Sarasa loses all hope, crushed as Hundred Faces approaches her. The buzzer rings as the time for the round ends. Hiroto thinks about how to defeat Hundred Faces. He meets Sarasa alone to talk about something important. She starts blushing, saying her heart isn't ready yet when Hiroto tells her to hide on the upper floor. He meets with the rest of the women's team, discussing his strategy with them. Hiroto reveals that to beat Hundred Faces or Shana, he will have to drag her into another game with an astral. He warns the team to be careful of Kirahashi's tricks and requests their assistance for the final day. Later, Hiroto is playing games with Shana. He asks her if she really is Hundred Faces and how she got roped into Seijo. She tells him that she just wanted to stay home and play video games after completing middle school, but realized she would miss the star games in high school. Thus, Sheena modified her device and entered using a forged account, dumbfounding Hiroto at how easy it was. She then tells him that she got a message from Kirahashi who wanted to use her talents. He gave her a star that allowed her to make copies of anyone and asked her to declare war against Sarasa. An excited Shana then goes to sleep and Hiroto realizes she's just an innocent child playing a game. On the final day of Astral, Hiroto, Sarasa, and Shina meet up. Hiroto reminds her challenge to Sarasa that whoever defeats him wins, and if Hiroto wins, he can do whatever he wants. He then says that he can simply run away and lose Astral, but win the Empress challenge. Hiroto asks Shina to play Crossboard, a fair turn-based game to decide winners for both challenges, and she agrees. They begin Crossboard, a board game connected with Astral. Shina realizes that Hiroto is left with only two places on the board as he encroaches on territory for later. Either one of Hiroto's spaces could be the real base, and if she guessed wrong, Sarasa would just capture it in the next turn. Thus, Hiroto is safe and the two girls play it out. Suddenly, Alka's spaces start going to Seijo as Kurahashi starts interfering. Down in Astral, copies of previous opponents are conquering Alka's land. Hiroto decides to keep playing it risky and makes his move. On the astral board, Nanes fights the clones with Inamoto's guidance through an earpiece. Inamoto notes that she follows his every instruction, and Nanes blushes, saying she trusts him to have her back. An oblivious Inamoto remarks that he's just ordering her from a safe distance, angering her. In his office, Kurahashi gets frustrated by the interference, calling Taoya to enter astral again. Taoya refuses to play, saying Hiroto has already seen through his strategy. Back at Crossboard, Kurahashi takes control of Shina and makes her touch spaces on the board, turning them into her land. Hiroto uses a tracking ability to figure out Kurahashi's location. He scoffs, thinking Hiroto can't do anything from Astral. Suddenly, Haimji barges into his office with a whole crowd, finishing the man. She takes control of Kurahashi's game, making Shina give all the spaces to Aime. Hiroto wins, and Shina feels guilty about doing something evil. Suddenly, Kazane enters Astral and asks Shina if she found the event boring. Shina says she found everything fun and Kazane cheers her up. Hiroto notices that despite Aime winning, Sarasa managed to keep some spaces for Alko on the board. They return to the real world and Aime celebrates their victory, obtained through teamwork and trust as the show ends. That's all for today. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content.